How's it going, everybody? You ready to have a good time today or what? Yeah. All right, I like that enthusiasm. So listen, I've been asked to remind you that this is an unplugged ceremony, so please just put your cell phones away. Be in the moment with us. We have a fantastic photography team here today. They're going to take great pictures. She promises to share all of them. I appreciate that. Oh, hopefully everybody's got some pedals on their seats too. All right, when they're walking out at the very end, you're gonna throw those pedals high in the air. All right? All right, let's get it started. Please rise.
Please be seated. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this joyous occasion. We're gathered here today to witness and celebrate the marriage of Abigail and Ethan. They would like to thank you all for being here with them today because each of you has played an important role in their lives and holds a special place in their hearts. It is appropriate and meaningful that they've called upon you today to take part in celebrating this important event. We're here not to mark the start of their relationship, but to acknowledge and strengthen the bond that already exists. This ceremony is a public affirmation of that bond, and as their dearest family and friends, it's our honor and privilege to stand witness to this event. This day is made possible not only because of the love you have for each other, but through the grace and support of those around you. All present here today and those here in heart wish both of you all of the joy, happiness, and success that the world has to offer. The most remarkable moment in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete. The person who makes the world a beautiful and more magical place. The person with whom you share a bond so special that it transcends normal relationships and becomes something so pure and so wonderful that you can't imagine spending another day of your life without them. You will dedicate yourselves to the happiness and well-being of each other in the new life that you will begin today. We're here to hope with you, to support you, to be proud of you, and to remind you that today, we all get to play a part in your love story. Your story started at Rutgers University when you went out on a blind date. Ethan says that he had actually met Abby before the date, but she didn't remember. <laughs> Ethan says that he even called his mom and told her that he was about to go out on a date with the most beautiful girl at Rutgers. Well, during that first date, Abby injured her foot, and Ethan rushed in to supply first aid. Being that it was a frat house, he got the coldest thing that he could find, an energy drink from the fridge to help reduce the swelling. Well, to this day, Ethan's convinced that this is the move that actually hooked her. Your connection was instant, and it's that chemistry that has led us to where we are today. They remained close, but Abby left to study abroad in Europe for a semester, and Ethan couldn't help but think about how kind and smart she was. When she returned home, all of those feelings of comfort and warmth returned to her. Ethan, he felt just like home. All of her favorite memories included him, and that's what makes their story so special. They've grown together through so many life experiences and always pushed themselves and each other for their relationship. Falling in love by chance, you're here today because you're making a choice. You both are choosing each other. You've chosen to be with someone who enhances you, who makes you think, makes you smile, and makes every day brighter. Ethan tells me that he admires the devotion and loyalty Abby has towards the people in her life. She always puts others ahead of herself, even if it means she needs to put in more time and effort just to make sure that things are perfect. She just wants her loved ones to be happy and comfortable, whatever it takes. She puts her all into everything she does. She's super creative and puts so much attention into the details that it just seems flawless and effortless. She gives the most incredible gifts. It's her self-proclaimed love language and the perfect accompaniment to her shopping hobby. <laughs> he appreciates that she supports his love for sports and that she'll read next to him on the couch while he screams at the TV after the Giants, Knicks, or Yankees inevitably blow a huge lead. She just supports everything he does and is truly Ethan's biggest fan. He knows that he is lucky to have Abby in his life, and he is so happy that he got to know the woman behind the most beautiful girl at Rutgers. Abby says that Ethan is her best friend. He's the first person she wants to call, the person she can't wait to come home to, the person she wants to cry with, laugh with, and make all the memories with. She can't imagine her life without him. She appreciates how much Ethan supports her thoughts and ideas. He loves her unconditionally, and Abby's forever thankful to have found him. 
he truly just lets her light shine and lets her be herself. She can't express enough how good it feels to come home to him. Family has always been very important to Ethan and Abby, and the love from their parents has helped shape them into the couple they are today. Sharing holiday traditions and celebrating milestones together, they've always felt like a member of each other's families. The bond is truly evident in the relationship they have with their fur baby, Henry, also. They said that although Henry can be a little challenging at times, Ethan has become the best doggy daddy to him, and he credits Henry's cuteness for their patience. Together, they're all building the foundation for their family. You both know that you couldn't pick a better person to spend your life with. You have everything you need, someone to grow old with who will be there for you to tell you everything is going to be okay. Remember, love isn't just about happily ever after. Love is the experience of writing your story. Now our first reading from the Book of Zohar, a Jewish book of mysticism, as picked by Ethan's mother. It is believed in the Jewish religion that a spiritual bond is created through the meaning of two souls. Each soul and spirit, prior to it entering into the world, consists of males and females united into one being. When it descends on this earth, the two parts separate and animate two different bodies. At the time of marriage, the Holy One, blessed be he, who knows all souls and spirits, unites them again as they were before, and they constitute one body and one soul, forming as if they were the right and left of one individual. This is the true nature of soulmates. Ethan and Abigail, you have come to me today signifying your desire to be formally united in marriage. We will do this through the exchanging of vows. Now please give heed to the questions asked of you by answering, I do. Do you, Ethan, promise to be a loving friend and partner in marriage, to talk and to listen, to trust and appreciate, to respect and cherish Abigail? I do. Do you promise to support, comfort and strengthen her through all of life's joys and sorrows? I do. Do you promise to build a home that is compassionate to all, full of respect and honor, filled with peace, happiness, and love? I do. Do you promise to always be open and honest with Abigail and to cherish her for as long as you both shall live? I do. Could I have her ring, please? Please place the ring on Abigail's finger as a commitment to the love that the two of you will share for the rest of your lives and repeat after me. I, Ethan. I, Ethan. Take you, Abigail. Take you, Abigail. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Do you, Abigail? Promise to be a loving friend and partner in marriage, to talk and to listen, to trust and appreciate, to respect and cherish Ethan. I do. Oh, sorry, I do. <laughs> do you promise to support, comfort, and strengthen him through all of life's joys and sorrows? I do. Do you promise to build a home that is compassionate to all, full of respect and honor, filled with peace, happiness, and love? I do. Do you promise to always be open and honest with Ethan and to cherish him for as long as you both shall live? I do. His ring, please. Thanks, Jesse. Not a boy. I got it. Please place the ring on Ethan's finger as a commitment to the love that the two of you will share for the rest of your lives and repeat after me. I, Abigail. I, Abigail. Take you, Ethan. Take you, Ethan. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. I got it. <laughs> now our final reading. From the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, as picked by Abby's mother. Be ambitious for the higher gifts, 
and I'm going to show you a way that is better than any of them. If I have all of the eloquence of men or of angels, but speak without love, I am simply a gong booming or a cymbal crashing. If I have the gift of prophecy, understanding all the mysteries there are, and knowing everything, and if I have faith in all of its fullness to move mountains, but without love, then I am nothing at all. If I give away all that I possess, piece by piece, and if I even let them take my body to burn it, but am without love, it will do me no good whatsoever. Love is always patient and kind. It is never jealous. Love is never boastful or conceited. It is never rude or selfish. It does not take offense, and it is not resentful. Love takes no pleasure in other people's sins, but delights in the truth. It is always ready to excuse, to trust, to hope, and to endure whatever comes. Love does not come to an end. Your wedding ring is an unbroken circle which symbolizes an unending and everlasting love. It's an outward and visible sign of the lifelong vows and promises that you have made. You're joining your separate lives together, not merely as husband and wife, but as friends, lovers, and confidants. Together you promise that respect, loyalty, and laughter will always fill your lives. Both of you are blessed with the greatest gift of all, an abiding in true love for each other and the reward of a lifelong companionship. To make your relationship work, it will take love. It will take trust to know that in your hearts, you truly want what is best for each other. It will take dedication to stay open to one another as you learn and grow together. It will take loyalty to go forward together without knowing exactly what your future may bring. But most of all, it will take commitment to be the very best person that you can be for each other. As you travel through this life together, remember, it was love that got you here and it is love that will continue leading you through this life together. We'll conclude our ceremony with the traditional breaking of the glass. The breaking of the glass, like the commitment you make today, is permanent. May your marriage last longer than it would take to repair the glass. And as the groom breaks the glass, I invite everyone present here today to shout Mazel Tov, which means congratulations and good luck. And to make sure you throw your pedals as the couple walks out down the aisle too, of course. Now, as the two of you unite as husband and wife, and as you affirm your faith and love for one another, it's by the power vested in me by the state of New Jersey that I now pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations. <laughs> Say <laughs> to God, he was, he was opening the thing the whole time. That's what that noise was. <laughs>